Are you tired of getting destroyed on Warzone no! from skill-based matchmaking? What? Tired of dying to players who literally have never put down the controller? This game fucking sucks! Well, you're in luck. Because Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War just released their new Warzone type game mode called Firebase. And although it's not exactly Warzone, Bruh. it's probably the closest thing we're going to get to another Warzone right now. So you better go and play it. Like I said, it's called Firebase and I played it last night and it was actually really, really fun. It does have a respawn function where you basically have five lives and if you die five times, you're pretty much over. Similar to Rebirth in a way because it's, uh, you know, you keep respawning after you die, there's no gulag. But the the players you play against are just not anywhere close to as sweaty as the Warzone guys. It's definitely a fun game mode and I definitely wanted to see who is a good at it who actually is good at warzone and also i wanted to see them play the new call of Duty firebase so today we're reacting to handler for the first time on the channel actually i've been watching him for a while and i've never reacted to any of his videos and since i'm doing this new thing where we react to you know warzone content and just other people's videos i think handler is a great one to start off with his new video uploaded yesterday called blackout 2.0 if you guys don't know blackout it was the battle royale for call of duty black ops 4 and i never played that game because I don't even like Black Ops 4. But everyone I play with says it's really close to Blackout and uh, I never played it, but I think it's really fun and I'm definitely down to go play Blackout if you guys want me to. But yeah, we're gonna react to the Handler's video because he's a good player on Warzone. I figured he's he's gotta be good at this new uh, Firebase game. So let's just jump right into the reaction. Are guys dropping in? Dude, so the Ooh, sniping in this was very right interesting. Here, yeah. There's like no bullet drop. You don't have to lead people or anything. It's just pure, just aim and shoot pretty much. Do, 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 do. Heads up. Incoming supply drop. Down. Hit. Down. This is what I'm talking about. Some of these players are clueless, man. Wait. Also, long range engagements are very hard. I mean, I've only played yeah, for a couple off. hours, so. I'm dead. Relocate to safe zone. Down again. Oh. I have self, it's fine. Fight him. The self revive is so quick. Look how fast that is, man. Compared to Warzone. Dude, that guy is so so fast. Yeah, dude, the self is insane. Dude, I didn't there's like, there's like no point in sniping. Because they all come back right away. I never I actually thought about that. I didn't there really isn't a point in sniping <laughs> yeah. since I get Dude, I doubt so all three fast. guys here and they all got back up. That, it's actually a good point. I might keep that in mind next time I play. But yeah, this is the map. There's like a bunch of different maps and they're all really small. Um, there's no uh, circle. It's literally just gas and it just closes in on a certain spot. It's a really cool function. I mean, there's so much they could do. I feel like they, they made this game so incomplete just because they didn't want it to compete with Warzone. Uh, me and my buddy Marvel were talking about it uh, the other day when we were playing. They really could add so much and make this just as good as Warzone, but it, they just, they're just people not going here, to. People move so fast. That's another thing. They don't have ground loot. You have to find boxes. Yeah, like I said, they could do so much more with this game, but I don't think they want to because they don't want it to compete with actual Warzone. Like right there, it's so hard to kill him with a burst gun. Damn. Super hard. Like the so recoil is crazy. Is that, oh, I would take the AK. AK is definitely better at far range. Full oh, the MAC-10 is really bad. I used the MAC-10, I couldn't hit a thing. The recoil is just so absurd. Also, the snipers they drop are really bad. They drop like the Tundra with a ACOG and the Barrett with a red dot. Super random. Behind us. Look how fast you down them too. They're across. So I don't know what the tactical nuke things are. I think that's a bomb that goes off, which it releases the gas, I'm pretty sure. Like I said, I only played it for a little bit, so you can't quote me on all this. But you can tell he's a war zone player Wilson. because he's Did actually going leave? like he's actually playing this House. legitly. Three. Most people just run around and shoot people. He's actually like running cover to cover. It like might he has just take my fucking kill. His strategy to it, and sure you don't does. watch that in a lot of players. It usually is just, you know, go, point, shoot. But you can tell he's got strategy. Moving in this game's a lot quicker, too. You can run Up around, jump. Again? They could be up already? Yeah, it's oh, weird. Self-revive in this game is super OP. Oh, if you, you can, re it down, you can revive yourself go. so quick. Oh, that's weird. 
See how the gas is on the minimap? So that means it's going to come in super quick and you have to run uh, straight to the arrow. It's very hard to outrun the gas too. It's really annoying. Man, if they actually put more effort into this game mode, it could definitely compete with Warzone. I think this game mode's super fun, but they just don't. They don't put any effort into it. The same with Cold War multiplayer. They just don't put effort into Cold War at all. They just could care less about Cold War right now. They don't They do not do anything to the game. Ooh, there's someone hiding in the crates. There's no way. Fucking John Rambo. So that's another cool thing. You can pick up like special like bonuses like the crossbow and the minigun um, and stuff. Okay, Just little things that Warzone has introduced. Have to kill backing up. Reloading. Also, vehicles are super clutch when you have uh Crack that guy behind building. Uh when you have the gas coming in. You have five respawns if you die. But if your whole team gets wiped out, then you're all dead and like you lose the game. So it's really good to play with a squad of four or three at least. Because as long as one person's alive the whole time, they're always going to respawn. He has a fucking sentry gun! I don't think this game will be a big takeoff like Warzone. Like no one's going to want to watch too many people play it. Like, I'm sure everyone will make at least one video on a firebase because it's the new Call of Duty Black Ops Warzone or whatever. But I can't see people actually watching a lot of gameplay on this on Twitch or something, you know? Definitely not as... Got it. That's clutch. Thank you, bro. I think it was actually really strong. Uh, this is definitely not going to take off like Warzone is on Twitch or anything. Like people making videos, I don't think people will watch this as much. But it's still a good, it's still a good game. I would definitely encourage you guys to play it if you haven't. It's fun. I can left on the outside. Also, there's only quads right now, so you got to get like a team of four if you want to really run. Like. Detected. <laughs> and try really hard. Again, I don't have range. But I played a couple games and the players are not anywhere not close to Warzone. Above players. you, above you, outside. They call it down him. Two ten, two ten. I did not see him. Holy cow! Oh, Look at the gas coming in too. Oh, the team pushing me. Commencing redeployment. So it looks oh, like. Two ARs is definitely the way to go. Oh, there's oh. so many in there. Oh, no. Two ARs is definitely the way to go. So because he got down, he has four more relives. Uh, I think I can left. There is an exfil, which I don't really get because it lets you, like, leave. I don't really understand that, though. That was yep. super clutch. That was super clutch, dude. That's all it takes is one one jump down. You can't do that in Warzone because you spawn in with a pistol. But in this game, you can spawn in with the MP5 every time. Uh, three alive. Wow. So they're probably easily gonna win this game. They gotta be hiding somewhere. It's really interesting to see like gameplay from like really good players. I hear him. Yeah, he's right in there. Right here. Down. Got the kill. I've never used this gun before. It looks weird. That guy's crouch walking, no fucking way. Enemy That's it. That was the easiest game I've ever watched. I got 22. 22 kills? Good game. There's only three of them, too. I guess, yeah, in this game mode, just full send, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, we were trying to play, like, a real battle royale. But it's not. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, this is just like a... It's weird, like, they could they could do so much yeah, with this and make it a realistic, like... Yeah. Competitor for Warzone. Literally, all of a sudden, there's no guys dropping to. in on you with MP5s. <laughs> like out of nowhere. That was good shit, man. I did not feel like 10 minutes. I really did not feel like 10 minutes. Well, guys, that was it. That was the new Battle Royale for Cold War. It's called Firebase. 
definitely check it out. I think it's a fun game mode and, you know, watching guys like Handler play it makes it look so much more fun. Sponsor of the video today is E-Advantage. It's a really good gaming supplement that helps you get cracked out, helps you improve your aim, your uh, reaction time, just all those fun things. You probably don't believe me, but it is way better than G Fuel. Just try it out and use code LOGS for 13.5% discount. Other than that, guys, tell me in the comments who I should react to next, and I am out. Deuces.